Let's take a look at making a very simple part for this card that I designed. It's a little Arduino Mini Pro that sits on the card. And I have found all the parts. I scrounged around on the web to find a couple of them that I didn't have. The one part I can't find anywhere is this little DC to DC regulator, the Mini 360. So let's take a look at using FreeCAD to create that 3D part. Note that I'm running the newest version of KiCAD as of today, May 2022, build 6.0.1. So if you look at this video sometime in the future and it doesn't seem to be right, that might be part of it. Or if you're trying to do something that doesn't match, you might have an older version, but I found 6.0 worth using. So I've downloaded FreeCAD. It's available on the internet, not hard to find. I'm using version 0.19. It's the latest version. It looks like it's 228 was the creation date of it. Again, if you try this in the future and it doesn't work, it may be that it's uh, changed, but it also may be that you have an older version. I couldn't get this to work with 0.19. The KiCad export tool didn't seem to work. So let's take a look at what we got to do. Uh, start with create new. Let's make a new part. We have to go to the workbench to do that. And that's here under view, workbench, part. And that'll let us make a part. And this new menu bar showed up here. And I want to make it a solid. This is going to be the simplest part I can possibly create. It's just a simple cube. Let's see. That's the part, and if we click on it, we can enter the X, Y, and Z, or the length, width, and height in here. Let me pull up the data sheet. Looking around on the internet, I found a data sheet. It's not a very good one, but maybe I can find a better one. Oh, out of memory, wonderful. Uh, it says the part is 17 millimeters by 11 by four. Uh, it's not gonna show me, I don't think, anywhere on here where the holes are. You can see what it looks like in the picture. I don't see any good mechanicals for it, but let's assume that it's correct on the dimensions. What was that? 11, 11 by 17 and then four millimeters would be the entire height. I only want the PCB side. I'm not going to do anything fancy in this video. Make it 11. Uh, size 11 by 17. And we'll make it 1.6 millimeters for PCB thickness of 062. And that should do it. So that's made a little card, rotate our way around it, go to the side, yeah, it kind of looks right. Uh, one thing you have to install, if, and I, this took a while to fiddle it around, but you have to install the tool to export the KiCad stuff. And if you've already installed it, it's here under workbench. And then KiCad step up. And that adds a menu bar for that. We select the part. And it's one of those little buttons up here. Uh, export 3D model to CAD, KiCad. Ah, it's going to make me save it first. We'll save it inside my 3D folder I keep. Name it Mini 360 for the folder. I'm going to use the same name for the file name, so I might as well grab that while we're here. Save it. And just click the buttons, mesh deviation. I just click it. I just click it. Materials, I want to make it green, like a PCB. Do they have a special green for that? Nope, let's just make it a green body. 
and click OK. And it showed me where it saved it at. Weird that I can't click that. Oh, no, I guess I can click that. So it made two files. It made a stub file and a WRL file. The WRL file is what I think I want to use inside of KiCad. So let's go into KiCad, back into KiCad. We're in the PCB editor already. Double click where the part is. Go to that place where that is at. I wish this had a way you could paste the path in. I guess, I guess you almost can. Uh, let's see. I don't have a. I don't have it in my shortcuts here, but it should be fairly close to that. I was inside of KiCad. 3D stop files. Mini 360, and that's what the WRL file looked like. And we didn't do anything to place it in the right orientation or anything. I just fiddle around with these buttons till I get it to work. Well, not that one. That one looks like it just dropped it right on top exactly where I want it. The only thing is I want it up a little bit. So I'm gonna put it up a little bit because it sits on pins. And we'll click OK and go back over to the board and look at it. Takes a little while to update, but there it is. Click off the part and there's a little green module. So that's all I really wanted to show in this video. Just a very quick how to make something really simple to fill a hole that's on your card. Make it any color you want. Uh, I'm, not a guy, I'm not a free CAD guy at all really my first time fumbling with it. I'm really <clears throat> really making this video just to keep track for myself of what steps I took to get to this point. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, you can see our wiki pages for these products and we have YouTube videos on them as well. We have a store in Tindy where we sell all of our cards. Thanks for watching our video and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.